Dr. D. Martin. Thanks for coming in today, Mr. Robert Tyler. You seem to be having some episodes that's holding you back in life. Am I correct? Damn, Doc. Straight to the point, huh? <laughs> well, I guess. Alright. Things started when I was eight. Oh, yeah, I was younger, about eight. I would say. My mother and my father went around to even show me how to walk. But I guess you gotta learn somehow, right? Living in a foster home was like living in a lion's den with someone playing the drums to the fullest. Friend? Yeah. In fact, that was my only friend. Uh, the name was Terry. We used to do things all the time. And one particular day, I was given a kite, which I thought was the most coolest thing in the world. I opened it up and the wind took it straight to the sky. And from behind, two older kids came up and they snipped the string on my kite. Didn't know why. I was so angry, so I took the remaining pieces of the handle and I smashed it in one of the faces of the kid that snipped it. They beat the hell out of me. Took my two dollars and they all ran. And that's what I seen them. the most beautiful thing in the world. She opened up her hand and she helped me up. And she told me her name. I told her mine. And then all of a sudden she reached into her back pocket and she pulled out something folded. It was folded up like a shirt. It happened to be the exact replica of the kite. She gave it to me. I was happy again. Yeah. Same time next week. Yeah. I remember me and me and D used to talk about this kind of stuff all the time, like what it's gonna be like when you get close to your dreams I didn't know much then, but I'll probably tell you a little something now Mr. Big Dreams, no tolerance Cut you at the house and have a holler since Get bored quickly He stayed grown, so the P.A. Tron Had to get poor quickly Ex-girl stripping, I can't stop her New girl tripping, but I can't drop her Cause I need something to balance out the fact that